What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Today we're going to look at the airship, white and orange. And this pair came all the way from Italy from my guy Marco at Backdoor Bodega. And we have the box here we're going to show first. It's a white and orange, uh, kind of based off the colorway. And you can see the airship, PE, SP, got size 11. And I got the product tag here from the store with a little custom OG or bust. So thank you so much, Marco. Really awesome pair. So that's the box. We got a little spooky setting today with, uh, it's the day after Halloween and every day in our house is Halloween. So here's a couple pamphlets that, uh, that came with the, um, the airship. So this is your standard one that we've been seeing with a lot of the, um, the white and red pair, um, and the band. So just we'll go through this really quick. You see the layout with the uh, polyurethane, the midsole, showing the outsole. You guys could pause and read. I'm not going to read all that, but yeah. Um, so that's pretty cool. And this is what's really neat. So Marco made these uh, for his store at Backdoor. And it kind of folds out. And you can see here, it's like kind of like a lab photography from Bologna. The launch date was 10-12-2022. And this side is what's really cool. Again, we'll kind of just hold it for you guys, try not to get any glare. And you can pause. But yeah, this basically is a breakdown of Jordan's rookie year when he wore the airship from the band to the white and red, even to the Chicago. You can kind of see the first time he wore the Chicago, which he wore heavily the most. That's why uh, the Air Jordans, the Jordan 1, um, that's definitely my favorite colorway for the colorway itself and plus the history behind it. So kind of negative here. It's kind of cool. So again, thank you, Marco. And we'll get into the shoes next. So here's the pamphlets. We got the white and red set out. Um, we'll do a little bit of a comparison, but um, kind of overlooking these and uh, touch a few details, a few, debunk a few theories um, about a few things down the line. But as as the white and reds were, these are pretty much on, on the money. I mean, as far as quality leather, the thickness, you can just tell it's, you know, really very nice quality. Look at the laces. It came with the orange laces, obviously, too. See the swoosh. You got the Nike Air on the back. You got the orange outsole. Again, this outsole is basically the Jordan 1, the early version of. Um, at Channel Chris, he has the uh, black toe I've, I've shown, and he's shared many times that you check it out on his YouTube channel and that early run really massive swoosh is kind of cut like this so Nike actually worked with him um, to get that that spec so that was pretty cool that they actually remolded and casted and we'll take a look at the other shoe here too um, just like the white and reds back here the size stamp on the inside is 11 you can kind of see right here beautifully uh, done stitching on the tags You see the Nike Air register logos and all. The only difference, the weird thing is, um, not weird, but I think they're trying to, you know, pay tribute to it. This is an Air Jordan shoe. So I'll just pop it out real quick. The insole, they got the nice thick polyurethane um, insole, but they did Jumpman on it um, just to, you know, I think pay homage to the, uh, to the brand itself. Because, uh, like, on um, these pairs, it's got the Nike branding, Nike Air, you can see on the inside. There it is. So yeah, you can see Nike Air on this one and on the airship and obviously the OG airships. But for the PE, that was pretty cool that they, you know, just switching it up, which is fine. And they'll probably stick to that pattern, I'm guessing, for um, the upcoming colorways. So yeah, uh, we're going to take a quick break. And next we're going to talk about the, the uh, measurements a little bit and demarcate the theories and how the OG was massively taller. There's little differences, but we will talk about that next. All right, so let's take a look at the heel view of all of these airships. So starting from your left, you got the orange, and then we got the PE red and white. We have the band airship, um, all size 11. Let me just double check these OGs. I believe they're size 11. Nope, they're 10 and a half. Okay, so very close. Um, so all these are size 11, and the OG is a 10 and a half. 
Um, the Bandair ship is a little longer than these. I remember some people telling me that they were like, oh, I should have gone a half size down. I have worn this pair. I got Soul Protector on them. You can see if you look closely. Um, but they, if you guys do pursue this shoe, um, just go a half size. You probably go half size down and be fine. They are a little larger than this. And obviously the OG is more scaled probably to these because usually the originals are a little smaller. Um, so yeah, so it's pretty much the same. Um, similar size, size 11 again, and size 10 and a half. Um, so what I did was I measured and everybody's like, oh, the airship. In my very first airship video, everybody was saying how, or some people are saying how the OG was much taller. So I actually held them side by side, but this time I actually measured them. So what I did was measure here. From here, I measured down on each shoe. So on all of these, the results were 11. 11 centimeters across the board. Uh, the 11 and a quarter, the orange. So a quarter centimeter more. So pretty much the same. I mean, it's nothing drastic. Like somebody say, oh, that's really much taller. It's not. And again, this looks taller because you got the thicker midsole. Um, this one's a little thicker on the band. And then these with the more Air Jordan 1 style midsoles. So that just kind of gives you, from this angle, um, a little more of an idea of how the heights are pretty much the same. I measured it out. Again, all 11 centimeters. And this one, 11 and a quarter. This, I love it. Just going to mention it really quick. Air Jordan. The first unofficial Air Jordan, I like to call it. Band Airship. Yes, it's got all this history. But um, I do love it because it's the first shoe he wore with, you know, his brand on it, basically. So, really, I had to double up on that one. So, I have worn these, like I said. So, yeah. Awesome shoe. Nice tongue heights on all of them, which is great. Uh, you gotta pull them up to see the white and orange, the white and red. The stitching on this one too, it's so, so nice. And there goes the dog. But we'll flip them around real quick and you guys can see a front end view. All right, here's a quick front end view and you can see they're pretty, pretty much on the money. They look really nice, the layout of everything. Uh, the stitching is shorter on these two PEs here, on this little, little uh, on top of the toe box. And this is a little wider. And the OG is just a kind of in between the two sizes. Leather thickness, definitely nice on the OG and the band. Airship is really, really nice. Smells like leather. You know it's leather. It's always a good sign. Uh, but yeah, like I was mentioning, the tongue heights, they're pretty much on point. And just the texture. I think I highlighted this in my very first YouTube video. If you look back, but what is it? Quite as good quality. Um, but yeah, you could see the silver, the stitching on it, and then look at the red. They nailed it. Like, that's really good. You can see, like, the weave into it. Now these, it's a little, it's a little more, I think it's, eh, it's a little more refined, I think. It's my two cents. It looks a little, it looks good, but it's just a little more refined. It's not bad, but like they nailed these, it looks very, very OG to that. So I just want to show you guys that. Uh, next, we're going to take two pairs. They're each a little different on size measurements um, from the lace hole down. And we're going to go over that next. All right. So the next thing I did was I measured from here to here. It's basically the leather paneling from the top lace hole at the very top where the lining's at all the way down. So they did the same here to here. And these two are shorter than the other two. So let me explain. The white and red was 13 and one fourth, and then the white and orange was 13 and a half. So this is just very, you know, another quarter centimeter in height. So um, really close, but this delay, you can kind of tell these are just a tad taller. Both size 11 again, but just a tad taller. So I'm gonna point that out now, and then we're gonna look at the OG and the band next. All right, so we're going heel to heel with the original and the band, and this looks taller, right? It looks a lot taller. It just does, but again, it's the midsole. You can see the midsole's definitely got some more height to it. Um, just, you know, this is thicker than the other two, but this little flare up has just a little more, but they do, you know, mock the difference. This is like the, OG midsole and outsole for the airship and again in my first video I showed that more and this is the pro circuit so it didn't have air it just had um, updated what this pair has the react technology um, but what we're getting at is the height so from here to here and from here and to like this hump I basically measured and this the OG was just a little taller it's 14 and a half centimeters and this was 14. So the other ones were like 13 and some change. So this one is definitely the tallest. So again, 
It's not like a huge difference, but it's definitely got a little bit more height to it. Um, but yeah, these I thought these were really close in half a centimeter. I thought these were a little lower cut, and they, that's how they do look. Um, the Air Jordan 1, you know, he wanted something lower, so it made sense. But for this, I definitely thought it was pretty close, you know, um, and it was. But these, again, are just a little, a little taller. And uh, yeah, I love that sandpaper swoosh. That has never been replicated. I rocked my um, natural gray ones yesterday for uh, Halloween. If you guys check that out on my Instagram page, but uh, yeah, they haven't haven't brought this back yet like that. It's really cool. Uh, we're gonna do a quick wrap after this. All right, so that's uh, gonna recap our video. We have the airship, the white and orange PE, and we did a little comparison between the OGs, the band, white and red. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please uh, leave a comment. You can follow me at OG or Bust on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.